thousand people are diagnosed with a brain tumor each year. So here's a look at some of the signs to watch out for. Grandmother of five, Kathy Magstad, has beaten the odds twice. I had to make peace the, with the beast. Her journey with glioblastoma, a fast-growing, aggressive brain tumor, began in 2017. Her first symptom, uncontrollable twitching of her tongue. It was a simple little teeny tiny thing, but it came back and it came back. Her father died of the same brain cancer and was diagnosed at the same age, 63. My heart sunk. You know, you just, you can't help but think this is the way it's going to be. But Magstead's tumor was caught early. It was the size of two small raisins. Doctors at the University of Miami Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center performed an awake craniotomy. I don't want any invaders. Get them out. And they did. Dr. Macarena de la Fuente is chief of neuro-oncology at the center's new brain tumor institute. Unfortunately, you know, the tumor came back five years after. So last year, she had a second surgery and took part in a clinical trial testing a mix of two chemotherapy drugs, one of only eight people in the world to participate. We check for uh, toxicities, whether the combination of drug is uh, safe. In her case, it was. Tests currently show her cancer is clear. The median survival for a glioblastoma is 18 months. We are here to provide hope. There is no cure for glioblastoma, but new treatments are helping patients live longer. So how are you feeling today? Amen. And Maxton yeah. is grateful for that. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.